Listening to this dog all day is giving me a headache. You know, it would fix that you going to greenmangaming.com and buying some stuff. I don't care what it is. You can buy a mouse pad for all I care. Do they even sell mouse pads? Probably not. Head down below. September 19th, 1961. The Hills were driving home from vacation in Niagara Falls. When just south of Lancaster, they claimed to have observed a bright light that moved from below the moon. They continued driving on the isolated road and say the object rapidly descended towards their vehicle, causing them to stop in the middle of the highway. Armed with a pair of binoculars, they claimed to have seen about 8 to 11 humanoid figures peering through the windows of the hovering craft, and the two drove away in a panic. The events of the aftermath vary wildly, withholding information to the investigation, vivid dreams, and seeking medical help. To this day, the mystery remains unsolved. Welcome back to Signal Simulator. When we left off, uh, well, look, actually nothing happened when we left off. Huh. <laughs> so I'm in the middle of a great big editing project right now, and uh, if, I'm sure you guys glance at the clock there. It is 4 a.m. <laughs> So yeah, it's a big editing project I got going on right now, but for now, I'm taking a break because I said earlier this week that I would have time later to do a full signal simulator video, and I figured I'll do that now. It's four in the morning, which is the, the exact uh, feeling that we should have for this particular game. I have some coffee with me, and I'm just trying to capture the feeling of uh, just looking for aliens really late at night. But first, let's go clean those solar panels. Uh, solar panels. So, there's been... Uh, I got an update on the game. Apparently, the shoe and the radio are the only things outside. That's not going to stop me from looking, of course. And there's probably going to be more things down the line. However, there are event signals. But we have to figure out the exact coordinates of said event signals. And I think I know where to start. One thirty five by thirty two. We're close. One thirty five by thirty two. Point nothing. So let's move the dishes over there and we'll see what happens. Unless we get a signal um, before they get there. Which they probably won't because we're already moving on the uh, elevation. it's something on here it's 
365 by 37, maybe. But 365 is like literally the top of the spectrum. Hmm. Not getting anything. Did I read the number right? That's clearly a one. Can't be a seven. It doesn't go that high. It's gotta be 135. Unless it's 365 by 37. Uh, you're gonna kill my battery life, but I'll give it a shot. Wait, does it? It doesn't even go up to 365. Wait, then what was I th Fucking Christ. 365 is the number of days in a year. A full rotation is only 360. On a circle. Damn it. Maybe I am out of here. Hope not, because the signal's coming in. There it is. All right. What the? No, turn that on. Alexa, set a timer for two and a half minutes. Two minutes and 30 seconds, starting now. Grabbing that 58.5. Got it. All right, well, that 186.0. It looks suspicious. And uh, 149.7. Got it. All right, now give me better numbers. 21.8. Got it. 187.3. Very nice. Gotcha. 149.7 again. 20.8. Got it. 53.3. Uh, 182, 150, 20.5. There's one number on here that's been changing a lot, and it's minimum elevation. I need to know if Azimuth is going to move any lower than that. Otherwise, I, I don't feel comfortable going forward with these numbers. 187, 152, 185. Did anyone else see 149 come back around? Anyone at all? 183152. I don't think we're going to get a, a number lower than 149 on the azimuth. I'll take that 187.4, though. That's ever so slightly higher than what we had. 2158.8. Thank God. Different numbers. Still skeptical about the 149.7. going with it. Alexa, stop. Thank you. Thank you, dear. Lab assistant. All right. So this is elevation. This is azimuth. Let me put these together. All right. So starting with the azimuth, we're actually relatively close to where they need to be, I think. That is 149.7 minus 187.4. Negative 37.7 divided by 2 
is 18.85. So we take our 18.8, we'll round it out to eight. Uh, let's put the five in there just to be safe. And then we add it to our 149.7, 168.5. Well, 55, but our thing doesn't let us fine tune it that accurately. Anyway, moving on to our uh, 20.5 minus 58. Point eight equals 38.3 divided by 2 is 19.15. So we take our 19.15, add it on to our 20.5, we get 39.65. Uh -huh. yeah, just do this. We need one six eight point five. Done. Brilliant. We're moving. Keep an eye on those numbers. I don't trust these. I don't trust these numbers. That, that right there, that, that is the stuff. Oh my god, coffee is so good. If you disagree with me, you're not human. Ah, good. We'll be there in two seconds. Eh, not even. That's all of them. Reading the signal, downloading. What do we got? Exoplanet. It's the exoplanet people again. Sounds like an airplane going overhead. What is that? Is my door shut? This game puts me on edge like so fucking bad. Jesus Christ. Hang on, listen to the radio while I go close the door. I'm freaking out. From amount of energy, that's the equivalent of 18,000 Indy 500 race cars coming at the highest speed that they can go. That's about how much energy you are entering the atmosphere. Okay. And in seven minutes, we have to land softly on the surface. Closed. So just imagine the challenge that the I team has been facing. Safe. In figuring out the a way, how do you take green that 18,000 car of energy in the night. and basically and reducing it to them. soft landing on the surface? So we had to do, as you know, the heat shields, <sighs> uh, uh, parachute, retro <sighs> rockets, yeah. sky crane. So we'll be sitting down there. Okay, if it is the exoplanet, we can probably expect uh, transmission from uh, the uh, space explorers. Here, hang on, let me see if I can find some of their signals. Gibberish, gibberish. Start from here. Gibberish, 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 gibberish. Try page two. Gibberish, gibberish. More gibberish, gibberish, gibberish. Gray, the moon base is ready. Gibberish, gibberish, gibberish. Ah, space explorers. Yeah, here it is. Exoplanet. Elevation is... Well, it's a different elevation right now, but then again, the planet rotates. This was the last transmission we got from them. They told us that the being is in the vents. I've been paranoid of that fucking air vent ever since. Uh... So download speed is good. Anyway, what we need is some transmitters so that we'll be able to respond back. Like if they need help, we 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 can 
maybe provide help? So if there are vents where, wherever these planet, ex these uh, space explorers are, that must mean there's some kind of base. Or something. Maybe they're on a ship. A ship large enough to have vents. I didn't know we had any exoplanetary explorers. Maybe we just stumbled upon some big conspiracy. All right, we got it. That's 120 credits. Jeez. All right. 90%, 100%. It's them. I have cut myself. It reacted. Guys, make sure all sharp objects are removed from the building. Transmission. Uh, can only be sent if signal is random? What? Help? <laughs> That's bullshit. They need help out there. He cut himself. It reacted. What happens if I start bleeding? Is it is it going to react to me? Wait, is it? Do we see out there now? Good night. Did they... Did what's-his-face adjust the lighting? Yeah. We can see. For now. Unless the game just sort of switches on the dark all of a sudden. All weird. Let's go back inside. Let's not go outside. I think they're looking at me. Alright. Shut it down. right on the mark with that one. I think. Uh, shutting down for the night. Yeah, I think we can just see out there now. Even though YouTube is still probably going to have trouble with uh, dark videos, but yeah, we can see pretty okay now. We used to not be able to see like at all. Eesh. Anyway, hang on. If there are event coordinates, it's got to be on this cork board. I think it's got something to do with this. Unfortunately, the, uh, It says that the signal coordinates are 365 by 37. Wait a minute. That's not a comma. That's a... That's not a comma at all. That's a point. It's not trying to say 365. It's trying to say 36.5. So it's 36.5 by uh, 37. So if the coordinate detection checks out, then... Signal coordinates 35 by 38 range. Range coordinates... Um, I don't know. Let's plug them in and find out. Okay, 
Okay. Azimuth. 36.5 by 37. Give it a shot. Is though we're gonna burn a lot of power heading over there. Now, we're gonna be using each of those as a communications relay satellite to get all the information back during entry, descent, and landing. In addition to that, there's a separate pathway direct to Earth from the spacecraft. What's interesting though is it turns out that no one of those assets is actually able to provide complete communications all the way through the process. So we're constantly sort of switching between them for different parts of the entry, descent, and landing process. And so you're going to see different things happening as, as we sort of switch between the various different satellites in terms of how we're getting the information back. If everything goes well and all of those communication satellites and, and assets work the way we hope they will, it is entirely possible that literally around 10.32 p.m. on Sunday evening, we will have confirmation that we are down, we are safe, and we are stable on the surface of Mars, and you'll see the entire place erupt and cheer and everything else. It didn't happen at 10.32, it happened at like 3 o'clock, okay, maybe not 3, but really early in the morning when that rover landed. I know, I remember, I remember Mohawk guy. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. What if there are points in that? Ooh, we didn't think of that, did we? Ah, oh, we did it. But run a quick temp check real quick. Hit the turbo. Oh. There we go. Good. Uh, we're not getting anything. Maybe we'll wait for the first signal to go away. Supposedly these coordinates are written down somewhere. These secret coordinates. Of course, the lead dev guy, Blago, has been an enormous help. <laughs> I took that first image and said, hey, I think I found the secret coordinates. And, and all he did was do, do, a, do a smiley face. He just did a smiley face. Freaking alien hidden in that picture. You know that there's an alien hidden in every single one of these episodes? Like, somewhere in every single one of these episodes, there's a single frame of an alien. That's every single... There's one in this episode. It, it's just a, something that's been done in every single episode. It, it's been going since episode one. There's an alien in every episode. Find the alien. Go find aliens. Yeah. <laughs> uh. So clearly whatever it is responds to blood. Crap, what was that? I know sharks respond to blood, but that's sharks in water. Uh, it was some. It was some game where blood made the enemies respond to you in a certain way. And no, it had nothing to do with sharks. That is good coffee, though. Uh, 
Anyway. Well, I well we tried that and it didn't work. Well, actually, we're just waiting for the for this deck for this first thing to go away. And that's still spitting out numbers. We got the false signal. We don't need any more. What we do need are upgrades. Higher antenna detection, possibly. If I get this, it'll leave us with about 200. Or we could get tracking. No. Uh, God, I, I cannot stand tracking. All right. The, oh, shit. We can just get another... Wait, can we get another one of those? It worked, right? Antenna detection. It says current range 46, new range 48. What the hell? Let's get... Better elevation speed. Yeah, elevation speed is slightly behind. Go ahead and grab it. Are those go what the hell? God, go away! Headed to Productions does not want you. I'm going to take a couple questions in the room. If anyone here has a question for Clara, we've got one over here. Oh, go ahead. We go. Now we're in business. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing but noise. Maybe it's only like certain times of the day or something like that. Specific days on a month or, uh, or something. I don't know. I don't know. There are pictures of the moon landing here. Any aliens in there? No? Okay, good. Albert Einstein, any aliens? No, no aliens. <gasps> followers informed, and I hope I can do the same thing. I mean, I have a Twitter and a Facebook <sighs> too, so I know what you guys are doing. But um, it's such an honor for me to be standing up here talking to you guys, along with so many important and amazing people at NASA and JPL. And they inspire me as well to inspire other people, and that's certainly something that I hope I can do. All right, thank you so much. And you know, I remember a couple of months ago, I heard a scream from down the hall and someone said, Clara Ma is following Mars Curiosity now. So, <laughs> <laughs> so of course we immediately followed back from the rover. I'm so excited <laughs> to see you following me. I like screamed. For... <laughs> okay, thank you so much for joining us today and she'll be here throughout the weekend and she'll be watching the landing as well. And probably, maybe even possibly with us that Sunday night, we'll find out. All right, thank you so much. <laughs> we have now Mr. Doug Ellison. Um, I, uh, he has a new uh, wonderful product to show you for not only people here in the room, people at the other centers, but everybody to use on landing night to really follow exactly through the entry, descent, and landing process. So, Doug, I will hand it over to you. Thank you very much, Veronica. <laughs> um, yesterday, it? during yeah. uh, the press briefing about the engineering, uh, we first showed this to the general public. <laughs> And we had about 990-something concurrent users uh, via Google Analytics. I want you guys to break that and see if we can get 1,000 concurrent users after this little demo. 
Um, who amongst you have actually used Eyes on the Solar System in the past? Brief show of hands. Of course Benjamin has. We could agree. About half. Okay, so what Eyes on the Solar System does is put the planets, the moons, asteroids, comets, and a whole bunch of the spacecraft that have been exploring them all the way from 1950 to 2050 right inside your computer at home, you know, your laptop or your, your PC, your Mac, whatever, any reasonably modern computer. And we've been uh, live now for just under two years, and we've done many, many missions. We were live with Stardust Next, with Epoxy, with Grail, with Messenger, things like that. But for curiosity, thanks to some amazing help from the navigation and engineering teams, we've had some uh, amazing trajectory data they've given us that's a simulation of exactly what Curiosity is going to be doing between now and 10.31 on Sunday evening. And what we're looking at right now on the screen, if we can go to the live video, is a live view of where Curiosity should be right now. Uh, Okay. There it is. Audio, please. Alexa, set a timer for two and a half minutes. Two minutes and 30 seconds, starting now. I see a 28.3, 26.9. Uh, 62.1. 64, okay. Wait a minute. Shh. Shh. Why the fuck is my dog awake? What the f What the hell are you doing up there? Okay. Hang on. Okay, we're back. Uh, I was originally gonna continue recording uh, the, that video um, fucking like immediately after I cut off the recording, but it's been a few weeks now, so uh, that 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 didn't pan out, did it? But um, some things have happened uh, in those two weeks. Uh, for example. There are more of these now, and there are way more solar panels. Now, why it spawned me in the middle of them, I have no idea. Also, we're m we're missing pieces of the goddamn. Uh, what is it? Oh yeah, and this. Now, I'm not saying that it's called Signal Hunter because me. <laughs> But it probably isn't. <laughs> oh, so they added more solar panels and everything. <laughs> the brakes in this thing are garbage. It also might be a little bit too big. But hey, we only have to hit one button to clean everything now. That's not making an unsettling noise at all. Anyway, uh, let's head back. Uh, cause now I have a million and one antennas to shut off. But hey, things are getting weird now. Or things are getting hectic. This game has been getting harder and harder and we have more crap to deal with as the updates come out. But also, with the massive new amount of space out here, there might be more secrets to find. <laughs> Alright, so. Uh, hang on. Uh, nothing new. Okay. Alright, so shut up. Turn it down. Shut up. Turn it down. Oh, good lord. Like, wow. Okay. <laughs> Boom. Done. What else is new? Uh, let's see. There's no new tech. What about upgrades? No new upgrades either. Uh, 
Okay. How about commands? Anything new? Uh, Rose tab check room remote code. Activate signal tracking if signal. No time now. It's time for us to get to work. Um, is there a pen here that works? Like a pen that works. One pen. Do not tell me I'm out of pens. And before you guys ask, I refuse to write in anything other than a pen. Pens, pens, pens. There's a pen in my bag. I could go get it. We are the most successful UFO hunting organization on the planet, and we don't even have a pen! Fuck! How about this pen? What? This pen's ancient! How's it still right? Good. That makes no sense. That makes absolutely no sense. Okay, we'll use this pen. Uh, okay, so we got an 11.5 and a 46.9, I think that was. Uh, I got that 229.5 and that 192.5. Oh, Alexa, set an alarm for uh, two minutes. Two minutes. Starting now. Cool. Cool. Uh, 192.9, 229.0. You've got higher than that. Don't fuck with me. 46.2. Hey, do we have any air? No, no errors. Okay. I'll do my dreading on that later. The fact that we now have 10 antennas to manage. Uh, 46.6... 2.30! Got it. 47! Forty-seven point something. Something I missed. I'm not gonna go back and check the footage. That's cheating. One nine six two two nine. Forty-six point nine. That's close to forty-seven. What's that? One nine five point what? Point nine. 12 points. You've gone lower! Stop messing with me! Forty-four point three. Blah. All your numbers are blah. Forty-six point two. You're getting better. Alexa, stop. All right, we'll use the 47. I like that it blurs now. That's nice. That's some nice improvement. Every time this game updates, I see improvement. And that's why I'm willing to give this game a chance. Now, where's my formula? I wrote myself a guide. Okay, so. Uh, we take... Ah, okay, yes. So we'll start with the uh, azimuth. So it's 192.5 minus 230. Uh, 37.5 divided by 2 is 18.75. So 
So we take 18.75 and add it to 192.5 equals 211.25. Hey, hey, I love that. <laughs> All right, it's back. <laughs> okay, so... No matter what we do, we have a long way to go. Two. What the? Did we get quieter rotors? What the hell happened? Okay. I'm just gonna go figure out the elevation. That's 11.5 minus, what was it, 47, 48.4, hold on. Thank you for that. You actually gave me, you actually gave us a clue. Thank you. So it's minus 48.4 equals 36.9 divide by 2 is 18.45 so we take 18.45 add it to our 11.5 we get 29.95 whoops 29.95 what is that Well, that'll be a while to move. Whoa, hey, it's been. You know, we might be able to. Uh, you know what? Yeah, maybe not. Should I be worried about uh, the holes in some of these? Uh, I think I'm more worried about the fact that we have a million solar panels to clean now. Hey, that's not fenced off, is it? Like, I can see the fence way over there. It's not a draw distance problem. That's just not fenced off no more. Do we buy more land? Wait. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Never mind. He still has her dad at a bathroom. <laughs> but hey, now we can check underneath the radio tower for some secret spooks. Those are still spinning. Okay. Still spinning. Still spinning. We still have. We haven't bought any fuel for the generator. Hmm. Fuck it. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Hey, we got it. What is it? Unknown. Hello? I can't hear it. Ah! There it is. It's... Wait a minute. Okay, never mind. I think I 
I do it again? Do we just sit here? What is that? It's not a constant noise either. That's what worries me. But the good news is it looks like we can still obtain the signal even with these with this massive amount of resources that we have to handle now. There are 10 antennas out there and we have to keep track of all of them. Holy shit. This place is now huge. Is that? We're just gonna have to send a transmission. We got the transmitters. Oh yeah, buy a few more, but oh, we got tons of transmitters. You ever notice that we've never used the tracking? God, it was so useless. God, tracking is useless. Ah, fuck it. Buy some data analysis. And maybe some fuel. And that's good. We're broke. We spent all our money upgrading the facility here. 92%. That's like deadly close to like right on the mark. Oh yeah, we'll get it. Where'd this pen come from? Ritz Carlton. Huh. Okay. Hey, there it is. 31.56 credits. That's good. That'll uh, keep us running a little bit longer, won't it? All right, I guess we'll say hi. All right. Do you see any aliens? Little call me. ET phone home. All right, message sent. Brilliant. How accurate were we with that? Pretty accurate. All right, that's good. Shut it all down. I guess we could have a look around now. What will happen to all of our into Wait, hang on. Let me just run a quick diagnostic. Uh, it says we're all running. We should be fine. Okay, car! Space aroma. Brilliant. Let's go to the cliff. detail on the cliff. So there is drawing distance in this game, kind of, maybe, sort of. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Physics not perfected yet. There's a hill! What did we just run over? Oh, 
Oh, it's just this hill right here. This game always has me paranoid. I'm, I'm still waiting for aliens to show up and be like, Hello! Come with us. We gotta talk to ya. There are hills here everywhere. Hmm. Yes, I worded it that way. <laughs> what about that cliff? See, these antennas look pretty okay. Okay, except that giant bit in the back there that's clearly missing. Why did we tear pieces out of these antennas? Do we need those? Can I make that jump? Let's find out. Ah, you're a force board. Yeah, it's just an invisible wall here. I guess it works, maybe? But not really. <laughs> Go forward! Um, okay. It won't go forward, so there it goes. Okay, it's finicky! It's very finicky. Fence. We're back to the fence. Crap, I get some speed! <sighs> Driving along the- Oh no! Oh boy! Hey! They counterweighted it. <laughs> get some speed! We're going along this fence like it's fucking F-Zero! Sounds like F Zero. It actually sounds like an old ass racing game. But the engine noises weren't very good. Oh boy! <sighs> what the hell are them boys doing out there? should probably get back, but I'm compelled to check the rest of the fence! <laughs> Soda pedals! Soda pedals! Oh my god, that's a lot of solar panels. Like, what the... Where are the solar panels? There... are none. There are no solar pa- Wait, they're over here! Wait, so we don't have more solar panels. We have the same- Like, the same amount- uh, No, we definitely have more solar panels. Well, can we buy more? Get some guys out here to install it. While they're at it, maybe a bathroom? Can I sit on this? No. Oh. <laughs> Any signals yet? No, we haven't even lost the last one. Anyway, uh, solar paddles. Increase solar panel recharge rate. Maybe that's it. Or it might be my. What's this? Uh. 
I think this is to buy more solar panels. There. I think I just bought more solar panels. No, 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 another problem is I don't want to go all the way over there. Wait, we have an error. Server 2. Oh, I think I'll go over there myself. It's not like we have anything better to do. We need like a... Like an arcade machine in there or something. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. It's just like, I don't know, a game of Pong or some shit. At least this bit is flat, so, like, you can just fucking gun it and... Uh, it takes an awful long time to apply the goddamn brake. Maybe we could walk. No, that'd be slower. That's a bird. <laughs> uh. Diagnostics. What the? Is this not server two? Wait. Where am I? It goes one, two, three, four, yada, yada, yada. Unless it's the other end. Wait. Where the fuck did my car go? Oh, God. Wait, is that it over there? Wait, he... He added a button that resets it if it breaks or some shit. What was the button? Uh, it was... Uh, backspace button will reset the vehicle position when outside the vehicle. I think that just spawned it. Fuck! Uh, and we're walking. Walking now. We are walking. Walking, 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 walking. The worst part is I think I can see it. I think I can see it. sitting there mocking me like hey hey left you there left you there to die hunter why are you skeletor and by the time you get back here there'll be a new signal god i hope not I see you made it all the way back here. Hey, man. <laughs> Alright, we're about to get some night time going here. Damn it, a signal is available. We gotta wrap this up quick. Wait, I got an idea. And the stairs to slow us down. Or you could slow down, like, actually slow down. Good. You did it. All right. All right, good. They swapped them around. I thought that was the case. Good, car's still here. Need it. We gotta, like, peel off, like, deja vu, get the fuck back to the thing. 
Deja vu. We are going this way now. The fuck did you? Okay. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I got a signal to your skin. Last one of the night. And speaking of that, by the way, uh, uh, shift change at work. I'll be able to actually work on this series now. There it is. Got it. Whoa. 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 Hold on. Hold on. <gasps> oh, happy day. I think the stars have aligned in our favor. 45. 49. 44. So 30.8. Now the azimuth, 49.5. Start the things. Up. Oops. Lost it. But we got it again. Theory. What if we just, like, fucking gun it, go all out? Nothing. Should I just go do the actual math? Fuck it. So set a timer for two minutes. Two minutes, starting now. Hundred point six. One thirty six point one thirty seven point one. <sighs> Sounded like William Shatner. This man on the wing of the plane. Do we want to do the elevation? I'm pretty sure we got the elevation right. Mm, let's give this a shot. So it's uh, 100.10. No, that's 110.6. Minus uh, 137.1 plus 36.5 divided by 2, 18.25. So we take our 18.25, add it to our 100 points. Fuck. 18.25 plus 100.6 is 118.85. So yeah, way off. Thanks. But I think the other one's correct. Hmm. 
Oh. Well, that's moving. And since we have a ton of time, I figured it would be easier to spot the hidden objects at night. Alexa, stop. <laughs> Forgot we were running her timer. There should be a hidden note on that rock. Or on the moon. <laughs> and once again, the moon looks absolutely nothing like our real moon. We get signal. Oh, we just lost the whole damn thing. Ugh. 48.4. Wait, 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 Is it? Oh, no, it's still moving. Wait, 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 there it is! It just needs some fine tuning. That's it. There it is. What do we got? It is who knows what. Again. That is not natural. That that's not natural. No fucking way. Military, I dare you, fucking, fucking tell me that that's space noise or or asteroids slamming into one another. Fuck you. It's aliens. That 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 they're reaching out. They're saying, "Hello there." What does that say? They moved the antenna so that the ladder isn't, like, right there. I figured it'd be spooky to see someone standing on it. <laughs> see, it just cuts off right there. That's not natural! Alright. Ooh, that's a lot of money. What do I got? Okay, turn it off. Uh, God only knows what that is. Uh, call me. <clears throat> it's like eight characters. How has it taken this long to prepare it? Done. We'll see if they reply back. Where was that? What, what angle was that? That one. Huh. That way. Okay. Somewhere off in that direction. 
<coughs> Wait. Is it the moon? No, it's probably not the moon. I'm waiting for us to get a transmission from the moon. Hmm. Well, we weren't too far off with our guesstimates this time. Maybe except the azimuth, which is like the most important part. Oops. <laughs> That'll do it for uh, Signal Simulator, though, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining me this evening. Uh, we have a lot of work ahead of us. So many switches to flip now. Oh, boy. How accurate were we with that? Exactly three. Hey, maybe one of these days they'll reply back. Thanks for watching, guys! And, and I will see you in the next video. Uh, they're, they're talking to us. I know it. That, 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 that weird radio static noise. That's a hiss. See? Oh, it's raining now. I can see.